With 36 seasons and almost 500 episodes, MTV's The Challenge is one of the longest running reality shows of all time. Now 22 of your favorites are back for an all-star challenge that won't disappoint. Take a look. Let's show them how the OGs used to roll. Best friends don't even have each other's back. I play a whole different kind of game. You're a liar. This is my vote now. I'm talking. Heartless. It's not over yet. 16 years ago. Yeah. We're talking about. Yeah, let it go. All right, don't take care. Hope to see you never. And the self-proclaimed godfather of reality TV, Mark Long, is with me now. Mark, how are you? Good to see you. As always, I like to say, coming in hot and ferocious, 6'3", 220 pounds of twisted steel. You know how I come in. Come on. <laughs> Well, listen, the response to this show has been nothing but over the top. People are excited about it. This was your brainchild and something that you really championed to make happen. So how long has this whole thing been in the works? I've been thinking about it for a couple of years now. And then I sent out a tweet over the summer that went viral. Us Weekly picked it up and it went crazy. And I just simply said, hey, how do you guys feel about an all OG challenge? You know, two to three yeah. week shooting schedule, really easy. And fans went crazy and I knew that it was going to be something special when the week before it premiered, we had over 5 million views of the trailer in a little under a week. So I knew we were, we hit the ball out of the park. So it was great. Yeah. So it went from like just a tweet to like an Instagram handle to like a kind of like a movement. And now it's on a billboard in Times Square. How cool was it for you to see that? Oh, the, the best part about it is, is random people like fans from that's just the reality world all over and former reality stars as well sending me pictures from Times Square, from the 405 freeway in LA, from Sunset Boulevard. So it is definitely beyond my wildest dreams. I mean, even talking to you and a lot of the other um, media outlets, everyone has just such great response for it because I think the nostalgia of yeah. it all and bringing back those faces that, that you guys all grew up with, um, there's something a little bit more organic there. Like you have some invested interest in some of these characters and to see where they are now 20 years later, some of them are moms, dads, you know, husband. So it's yeah. great to see that. Yeah. And I think a lot of us, given the past year that we've had, are really into thinking back to better times, you know what I mean? And, and wanting to be nostalgic, you know, about I'm, I'm the same time, way, Mark. Yeah. Well, think about it. The nineties, it was just, it was such a great time. The music was great. You know, the pandemic wasn't there obviously, but it just seemed like a fun decade. And, and to tap into that, the music soundtrack of the show is awesome. Yeah. Um, we have everything from TLC to Boys to Men to Madonna. So the era matches the actual music, which is great. And people love that as well. And I just think, like you said, we tug on those nostalgic heartstrings and people yeah. are all in from, from the first episode on. We're still melting ice in our Speedos. We're still doing old school stuff. So <laughs> it's still there. I mean, at 45, you know, everyone's north of the age of 40. So what was it like the moment you stepped back into the house? It was wild because even packing before I left, I was like, I can't believe after all these years, I'm packing to leave to go do another challenge. Yeah. And then getting in the house and having, you know, roommates again. And, and I'm a big guy. So sleeping in a little twin bed never worked out even when I was younger. So, yeah. you know, a couple of the guys in my room were big snorers, Ace and Nehemiah. So it just, you know, it was like going back to summer camp, but it's yeah. an adult summer camp and everyone's a little older, a little wiser, but still the personalities, I always say this. The physical aspects may have diminished slightly, but the personalities have grown 10 times. Well, who are you most excited to see back in the house? I was excited to see the people that, you know, the audience hadn't seen in a while. Tech, who is from the real world of Hawaii. He's super funny. Beth, Cyrus, Ruthie, they haven't been on in a while. And MTV also announced that uh, Road Rules is coming back as a, as a Road Rules alum. What do you think about that? They were saying, like, do you think you'd make a guest appearance on, on Road Rules? You and Kit, who's now with Access Hollywood. Yeah, and I, said, I know Listen, Kit. Kit and I would love to show up and pop up and surprise them. So if there's a, if there's a possibility to do it, you're going to see a uh, little Scooter and Big Hair show up and, and do their thing as well. So um, right. we're still super close as well. So that's great. Yeah. So I knew that the fan base was there for all the, the throwbacks. I mean, you could even see it with like the new Saved by the Bell or they redid the, the 90210 yeah. or they redid mm -hmm. this. So like you said, there's just a yearning for this, this product. And I don't know if it's just because of the year we've had or the, you know, everything, but it makes you smile. I've had people say, I watched the episode, just smile the whole time because yeah. I can't believe it's happening. Yeah. Well, congrats. It seems like everyone's really excited to see it. Um, and I can't wait to see it as well. You can catch the challenge all stars. It's streaming now on Paramount plus. Thanks so much, Mark. Good to see you. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.